This cluster is lovely in the way that it contrasts the long narrow leaves of the Nevin's Barberry with the large felty gray green leaves of the St. Catherine's Lace type of buckwheat. The Nevin's Barberry is planted up on a mound. It can grow in both slow and fast draining soils and the St. Catherine's Lace is in the flats uh, and it gen generally needs fast draining soil. Nevin's Barberry is a fabulous plant for the garden if you want to put a barrier somewhere to keep people from climbing a wall or to keep people from spray painting a wall, this is your plant. It is extremely tough and has leaves that are kind of spiky. It's evergreen and in addition to being a great barrier plant, it is a great nesting plant for birds. In the spring it makes yellow flowers and the flowers are much loved by hummingbirds and other types of pollinators. And then when the flowers are pollinated, they make these berries that as the summer approaches will become translucent red and beautiful. Great wildlife value for nesting and for food in this one plant. This plant used to be all over the Inland Empire, but uh, it has lost most of its former range. It's down to less than 5% of where it used to occur. And it's a plant that I would hope people in the Inland Empire would start to replant in their gardens to support wildlife and create the nesting habitat that we need to support the birds. St. Catherine's Lace gets to be about six feet high and six feet wide. It's semi-evergreen. It grows in full to partial sun. It is drought tolerant and makes these big clusters of white flowers that when pollinated make gigantic seed heads for birds and other animals. So you can just see how you can create a tapestry of the upright blooms of the St. Catherine's Lace and then the sort of arching uh, sprays of the Nevin's Barberry to, to create different lines in the garden. Mm -hmm.